Hey cruisers, it's day two for Focus and SEL. Today we're gonna to continue doing self-awareness. We're also gonna look at your positive qualities. We're gonna keep looking at things about you. We are still at the zoo and actually right behind me are some really beautiful cheetahs. <laughs> All right, so today we are gonna look at a lesson more about who you are and your identity. Before we looked at positive qualities about yourself and you highlighted through a list that I gave you on what you thought were some of your positive qualities. And we're gonna keep looking at our identity today. So in this lesson, we will explore what makes us uniquely ourselves. I am many things. I am human. I am Native American and Caucasian. I am an Asian. I am a black woman. I am biracial. I'm Latina. I am an African American male. I'm an immigrant. I am a twin. I am a twin. I am gay. I am tall. Really tall. I am a wife. I am a father. I am a mother. I am a son. I am a daughter. I am an athlete. I am a singer. I am a recording engineer. I am a reader. I am a dancer. I am a baker. I am a gladiator. I am an educator. I am a poet. I am creative. Yo soy creativa. Yo soy única. I am empathetic. I am talkative. I am a very happy guy. I am strong. I am stubborn. <laughs> I am funny. I am friendly. I am me. So what I noticed during that video is some people started off by saying what their race was. So you know, they would say, I am Mexican, I am white. Um, then it kind of flowed into maybe what roles they play. So I am a mom, I am a daughter. Then it kind of rolled into qualities or like kind of what we went over the other day, their positive qualities. So I'm talkative, I'm outgoing, I'm happy. Um, if I propose the question to you, who are you? I wonder what you would say first. Usually if someone said, who are you to me? I would probably start by saying I'm a mom. That would be the first thing I would say to someone is I am a mom. That's probably the most important thing to me. Um, but what you're going to do today is explore a little bit about who you are by creating an identity map. So an identity map is a visual representation of who you are. So what you're going to do is you're going to write your name in the center and you're going to think about different things of your identity. And you're going to choose aspects for the unlabeled bubbles and you're going to write your traits in there. So let me show you where you are going to do that. You are going to, as always, go to Google Classroom. You will go under Classwork and there will be something that's labeled identity map underneath October 1st and 2nd. So when you click on here, um, again, it's reading to you. Now it's time to create your own identity map. There's an example below. And in this example, it shows a person named, I believe it's Michael.
Oh, Alex. Okay. Um, so Alex, and he shows his name in the middle, and then he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bubbles on the outside. So these bubbles include interests, gender, roles, responsibilities, race and culture, personality, um, qualities, and whatever the other one was that I cannot see, um, attributes and skills. What I'm going to have you do is I don't want you to do all of those bubbles. I only want you to think of four of those or use four of those for your identity map. So I created one for myself. Um, obviously, my names are in the middle. And I chose four. I chose roles and responsibilities, skills and interests, qualities, and gender. Um, the ones I did not include, I did not include race. I did not include um values and I did not include personality. I just went with the other four. You could do whichever four you would like. Um, then I just listed underneath things about me within that. So roles and responsibilities. I'm a mom. I'm a school counselor. I'm a friend. I'm a wife. I'm a daughter. Over here under skills and interests, I think one of my skills is I'm a good listener and I, one of my interests is I love to read. If I go to qualities, I took that from what we did earlier in the week and I said I'm dedicated, honest, giving, and outgoing. And then I actually chose gender because I think to me, my gender is, has been pretty important in my life. Um, I'm a girl um, and I think it's important because I have two daughters and I can role model for my daughters what being a woman is and how strong we are. And my dad was always very, very poignant in saying girls could do anything. So when I was growing up, being a girl um, was such a positive thing and a big part of my life. I included a couple pictures. Here's me and my girls with our masks on. Um, here's me and Leah. And then Brent over here in a sunflower and sunflower field. You don't have to add pictures. I just did because I like a little bit of a visual. So what you're going to do is on your next page. Oh, there we go. Is you're going to go ahead and make your own identity map. So anything in here you can click, you can change. Hey, that's okay. So you you're good. Miss Dupe just came in. Hey, Miss Dupe. <laughs> So on your identity map, you can go ahead and click your name, put it here. And again, you can pick any four topics you would like. So for example, if you want to do roles and responsibilities, maybe you are a daughter, a son, a student, um, your friend, if you want to do skills, if you want to do race, because that's very important to you and part of your life, any four of those are fine. Um, again, you'll go in, you can click on these and you can edit. When you go into actually filling in these bubbles, all you do is click a text box, click on where you want to type in and you can type in. If you want to change the background color, you absolutely can. If you want to insert images or if you want to upload, upload photos, all up to you, you do not have to. And lastly, you're going to answer this question right here. What parts of your identity do you think about most often and why? I would say for me, I think of my roles and responsibilities the most. Um, the second I wake up, the mom in me starts and I think about what my girls need to do that day. Is it a school day? Um, if it is a school day or work day, I think about what I need to be doing at work. As soon as I get home, I think about what I need to be doing um, just within my house and with my kids. And when my husband comes home, what are we going to eat? So I would say roles and responsibilities is probably the biggest part of my life. Your life might be different. So I appreciate you guys listening to all this. I hope you enjoyed um, the zoo visit. I really enjoyed seeing the sloths. Um, definitely a favorite thing of mine. And I will see you again next week, and I will be at a new place and location. All right, bye, guys.